Hello, hello, my collective. Right now, I'm gonna do a collective message. I'm just gonna do a quick collective message. Then after that, I'm gonna get off. But I felt called and guided towards just telling my truth, telling shadow healing. <laughs> As you know, my name is Pinky. This is, oh, girl, just how you know I'm sleepy. As you know, my name is Pinky. I'm your resident love spirit guide. And this is in a conversation, so a safe place of discussion and discovery. Hey, precious. And God just wanted me to speak. God just was like, hey, listen, I need you to get back into the routine of going live. And I need you to get back into the routine of talking to my collective. It's time that they understand themselves. It's time that they understand their soul. And it's time that they love themselves. This collective message is really just going to be over, over faith over love over self over investment what are you investing in are you investing in your mindset are you investing in your failure are you investing in your success you know libra season has two aspects of itself right now you can be successful or you can be fearful and if you're going to invest in your fear then you're going to be stagnant still and stupid and stumped but if you if you are investing in your success then you're investing in the part of yourself that knows it loves itself you're investing in the part of itself that knows that it's more it's worthy of everything that it wants and it's worthy of everything that it needs and its soul's been calling for right now god is just asking you to make the effort put in the time put in the work put in the energy to get where you want to go stop asking god what to do he's giving you the blueprint he's giving you the people he's giving you the knowledge he's giving you everything that you needed but at this time are you willing to put in the effort behind what you've been trying to do he's giving you every tool you needed and the biggest tool you need is belief 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 in your goals belief in your dreams belief in your career belief in your work he cannot move you he cannot help you if you don't even believe in what you're doing for yourself to get where you want to go you know the biggest thing that people are doing is going against themselves because they feel like they have to sacrifice a need to get what they want because of a size to a perspective of always having to sacrifice, always having to let go, always having to go against yourself and be in an obligation just to get the things that you want. And in reality, you do not have to do that. You don't have to do that. <laughs> God didn't tell you you had to live like that. God didn't tell you you had to be like that. God didn't tell you that he wanted you to go against yourself day in and day out just for you to live a successful life. And even then, it's not even a successful life. You're just surviving. And one of the reasons you're surviving because you're living in someone else's story. Half the time in society's story, what they tell you, you have to live. <laughs> One of the reasons like a lot of us don't have successful lives is because we don't know what success is. You know, we're, we're living in a societal perspective of success is when you have all this money, when you have all this material things, when you have the, the, this what can I say, this prosperity, but not in a soulful way when it comes from your connections, when it comes to your family ship, when it comes to the way that you're living in a community and you have a community around you that supports you, that loves you, that is really, really, really trying to be with you and be around you. No, th this is you just going against yourself. <laughs> A lot of us are surviving instead of living. A lot of us are so worried about our next meal that we don't even praise God for the meal that we have today. We're worried about tomorrow's struggles until, instead of today's blessings. And if we got back into the system of worrying about today's blessings and not so much of tomorrow's struggle, we'll have more blessings. We'll have more fulfillments. We'll have more opportunities to be blessed, to be loved, to be seen. But we're so worried about our worries, about our fears. We're so worried about our life because no one has taught us that safety that we have within God. You know, no one has taught us that God is actually the one to take care of our burdens. God is the one to take care of all of our problems. God is the one to actually take care care of you but then again who is God to you you know this is the season where God is actually asking you questions this is the season where God is trying to get to understand what you know this is the season where God is really trying to get you to hone in on what you feel like life is for you but for you to even hone in on what you feel like life is for you 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 got to figure out what love is for you you got to figure out what love is for you. You, you got to figure out what fear is to you. You got to figure out what success is to you. Because in order for you to even get to the place you want to go, you have to have a root basis of yourself. And a lot of y'all root, a lot of y'all systems are built off of trauma. So once you figure out all of your trauma, then that's when we can move on to the happiness, the success, the living again, the godliness within you, the joyfulness within you, your soul healing and your soul's energy. But we can only do that when we get to the root. 
I always took I always coach my clients on getting them to understand that like first you you got to see your hate you got to see the parts of yourself that you don't like about yourself. You got to see the parts of yourself that's keeping you back. You got to see the parts of yourself that you've been living in an illusion because half the time you're living in your parents' story. You're living in your sister's story. You're living in your granddad or your grandma's story. You're living in somebody else's story instead of living in your own. You're not living in your own story. But we would have to actually get to the root of that trauma to even know that you're not living in your own story. <laughs> But a lot of people in this Libra season are taking the time to like invest in yourself, to invest in your mind, to invest in your soul. And, and it takes time. I'm not saying you're going to just heal yourself in one day. Rome wasn't built in one day. You wasn't broken in one day. You were broken, what, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years of pain. It's going to take some time. But that's why you focus on the progression of how you're healing. <laughs> that's why you focus on the progression of how you're healing how you're moving how you're shaking how you're loving yourself that's why you focus on what you're doing instead of when you're gonna get what you want <laughs> instead of when you're gonna get what you want and what you really have to do and you know that's what took me off my path for so many years because i was always focused on damn this is how much work i gotta do this is how much work i gotta do to get what i want instead of being excited about that i'm actually working no living to work instead of working to live <laughs> It's like I went into this business and, and that's that's another thing. Like you, you have to have the right mindset as you're trying to gain your freedom. You can't go into loving yourself as another job, as another system, as, as something that's still a survival mode. You, you don't heal yourself just because you're forced to and it's an obligation. You heal yourself because you know you're in love with yourself and you want better for yourself. That's a different type of energy. When you want better for yourself, when you want to love yourself, when you want to see yourself, when you want to become one with yourself, that's a different type of energy. Are you a mom? No, I'm not a mom. <laughs> I know I got my little mom look on. I mean, I guess I am. My little dogs, my nieces and nephew. But nah, I'm not a mom. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. And hello. Hello, y'all. I got. I need some music. I'm going to put some cards, too. But it's just like Spirit just wanted me to come on here and just talk about, like, listen, you, you're going to have to figure out your influence. You're going to have to figure out your purpose. You're going to have to figure out how can you get yourself into this energy of motivating yourself back into your faith, back into your hope, back into your love. You know, you, you're going to have to stop making excuses for things that you know you're supposed to be doing and stop trying to put it back on Spirit that he's not working when in reality you're just not moving. <laughs> You're just not moving. And if you, the sooner you're honest with yourself about the fact that you're not moving and that you don't want to move and that you don't want to go anywhere and you really don't know how, is the sooner that God will bring you more people who you can look at, who you can follow, who you can gain mentorship with, the books that you need to read are the people that you just need to invest in. And sometimes the investment needs to just be the times that you sit with yourself and you find your soul. Do you have a dog? Yeah, I do. Well, I'm going to say I have a dog because my sister has a dog and I'll be dog sitting. So I be saying because black people, you know, we just take on nieces and nephews with anything. Pets, animals, all of it. Can I see it? Uh, well, we outside right now. So I don't know. I don't know if they're going to come. They don't even be listening to me. <laughs> but I can tell you their names. It's Precious Sparks and Midnight. Midnight is definitely inside sleep with his mama. And um, Precious and Sparks. Just somewhere around here doing something. Doing fucking something. And then, lately has... Oh, shit. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. Lately, God has been telling me, like, you're, you're going to have to see... You're going to have to see how to invest in your mindset when it comes to, like, songs. You know, I, I've noticed 
this time period, if you want more abundance, then you're going to have to pursue more gratitude. And one of the ways that I show gratitude to God is through the songs, by actively listening to gospel music so I can actually promote that happiness and that love and that flow of energy that he has within me and around me. You know, and then God has also been just telling me about, like, when's the last time you appreciate yourself? When's the last time you stare at yourself in the mirror and just be like, damn, you're sexy. Damn, you're beautiful. Damn, you're intelligent. Damn, you're powerful. You're a billionaire. You know, I'm glad that you're in my life. I'm glad that you're here with me in this moment. I'm thankful for the journey that you took in loving myself. When's the last time that you talked to yourself like a lover? When's the last time you talked to yourself as a friend? When's the last time you talked to yourself like the person you needed within your life to uplift your soul and uplift your spirit? When's the last time you talked to yourself probably like your grandma that loved you so much? <laughs> You know, we're so worried about what God's doing when we're not worried enough about what we're doing. You know, I did not want to come out here and do this live today. I'll be real honest. Because I was like, damn, I'm sleepy. <laughs> I'm sleeping good. I'm cuddled up with one of the fucking dogs. I don't feel like coming out here. But then I have to realize it's not about what I want. It's about what I need to do. And I need to get my black ass up and I need to do this fucking live. <laughs> Because everything has a purpose and everything is happening for a reason. You know, in this season, it's like you can't get so tricked up on what you don't want to do. You need to get tricked up on what you do need to do and why you're doing it. Why, why is it so important that you do this? Why is it so important that you stay committed to yourself? Why is it so important that you stay committed to the journey of getting to know yourself, getting to love yourself, getting to live? Hey, how you doing? Okay, so I'm going to pull some cards because, yeah, my love with 10 mini channel message. That was enough. And then, you know, we got to understand and come to that realization that sometimes our body, our heart is over things that our mind just still hasn't, oh, what can I say, accepted yet. <laughs> let me say it again our heart is over things that our mind just still hasn't accepted yet like if you start really noticing things about your energy and you start sitting with yourself you realize that some of the toxic behaviors you just do because it's just a habit it's just a habit that you've done for so long that you haven't trained your body into a system of something else like one thing that i've noticed about myself is i go very fast and i go very fast out of fear like i do a lot of things out of fear so to get myself to be more patient and to get myself to slow down i do a trigger mantra by janae echo every morning where she was like slow down i am calm and i'm protected i'll play that for literally probably an hour in my morning and i'll literally get under the sun i'll pray to the sun i pray to the earth i pray to god and i'll just get into my meditative state of just understanding that i need to slow down i need to calm down and i need to understand that i'm protected because when you move fast that's a trauma response you move fast because you're scared you're scared you, you you have to move fast <laughs> you have to move fast because you're in survival mode and usually people who are in survival mode are people who move very very fucking fast because they don't have no safety they don't have no protection they don't have no grace to slow down <laughs> i'm from god too mm -hmm. that's good so you a god within yourself in your soul hey i always say everybody is a god because everybody got god in them Mm. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I wonder why we're in reverse though. But then it's crazy because the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and then the full card. Let's see. Let's see. And then the world. Come back and get credit for the work you put in at Purdue Global. With your experience and college credit, I don't know if I want to take a reversal though. Because with these cards, it's not about being in reverse. It's really not. Now. And then I kind of want to read it. So in the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles is an inheritance of abundance and wealth. Being rich is no longer about money. It's to experience the seduction and lingering pleasure of success. What is authentically felt in joy is what you wish to share with others. Acclimating wealth doesn't mean that it is to be kept all to yourself. Sharing abundance is the growth of prosperity, sensuality, and the purpose of being alive. Oh, I understand now. I understand what God is trying to say. That's one of those reasons that this song had came on. Forgive them. You know, you're holding up your own abundance and you're holding up your own leap. You know, you can have the whole world and more. 
that's one of the reasons why you have the fool in the world but then that's another reason why you have the ten of pentacles in reverse because you're still trying to understand your world you're still trying to understand your pinnacle you're still trying to understand your foundation you're still trying to understand what is the purpose of the leap what is the purpose of the new change of taking a chance on myself taking a chance on my soul taking a chance on loving myself you're still caught up in the pain that you have from other people that you still don't understand what's the purpose of you and i feel like once you get caught up in what other people have done to you you get so caught up in what other people have got going on you get so caught up in what people have done to you you're not getting caught up enough in what you need to do for yourself and what you need to do for your soul you know pain happens all the time people betray people all the time people are always gonna it, it's always gonna be somebody that might try to go against you but that shouldn't be the focus that shouldn't be the focus you shouldn't focus on people that's trying to go against you you shouldn't be focused on people why they're trying to destroy you they're destroying themselves plain and simple don't make it so much about you and make it more about they just don't love themselves they just don't see themselves they just don't understand themselves they just don't have that that mindset that godly frequency to actually understand you and love you enough back into submission with yourself submission with your soul submission with god you you gotta learn how to get away from people who who don't love you who don't truly trust you who don't truly want to pour into you in the ways that you need to be fulfilled and to be talked to and to be loved and to be nurtured and to be cared stop caring so much about what other people think of you and stop caring so much about what other people can do for you what can you do for yourself and then what can you do for yourself allow god to bring people who reflect that how can i say it? that investment that you've always made within yourself because if you start investing in yourself you start loving yourself you start seeing yourself then god will give you people you don't have to chase <laughs> god will start giving you people who you who you really resonate with because you started to resonate with yourself and you started to be one with yourself listen y'all Honest. I'm not gonna say I'm here too long, but I did want to just come on here and do a little collective message because fear has been a collective message. I thought I was gonna do more of the lives at one to two o'clock in the morning, but I feel like I'm gonna do lives now from like ten to eleven. I feel like that's better. That's when I'm in a better frequency, and that's when I'm just like, Ugh. and that's when I'm just in a better frequency. But I think I'm gonna go, y'all. I just wanted to come out here, do a quick little collective message, and then I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'll put more time and more effort into it. But y'all have a good one. Bye, y'all.